hello you're welcome how to solve this nice query problem solution from here and what you are given here let's use two methods the first method here we can rewrite what we have as root 6 times 10 plus root 10 10 over here also we have root 6 times 10 minus root 10 from here the next step here this follows when we have root a times b which can be separated as root a times root b that is all we have here becomes root 6 times root 10 plus root 10 then over here also we have root 6 times root 10 minus root 10. The next step here. And what we have here, root 10 is common whole. We factor it out and we have root 10 into brackets here. Remain root 6, then plus 1, remain here, then all over. Also here. Root 10 is common, we factor it out as root 10 into brackets. Also, we have root 6, then minus 1 left here. The next step here, root 10 cancelled each other. We are left with root 6 plus 1 over root 6 minus 1. As this next step here, we rationalize this sort. And we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. I just multiply this by the conjugate of the denominator, which is root 6 plus 1. Also multiply this by the same thing, which is root 6 plus 1. And next step here, what we have up here are the same thing. Follows on we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. That is, from what we have here, we can write it as root 6 plus 1 all squared, then divided by this a follows power squared. When we have a minus b into brackets, then open brackets a plus b, which is the same thing as a squared minus b squared. That is, here, yeah, root 6 serving as a, 1 as b, and we have root 6 square and minus one square and also here the expansion of here follows when we have a plus b all square which is same thing as a square plus b square plus two a b that is here we have root six square plus one square plus two times root six times 1 then all over six root 6 square here square cancel square root we have 6 and minus 1 square that's t1 then we have root 6 square also 6 square, square cancel square root we have 6 left then plus 1 square that's 1 then plus here we have 2 root 6 then over 6 minus 1 that's 5 and next step 6 plus 1 that's 7 then plus 2 root 6 over 5. That is, here we have the simplified form of this given problem as 7 plus 2 root 6 over 5. Then let's use the second method as well. From here, we rationalize this directly. That is, we multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. At this here we have root 60 plus root 10 multiply by root 60 plus root 10 which is a conjugate or denominator then divided by also multiply this by the same thing that's root 60 minus root 10 then multiply by root 60 plus root 10 then 
from here when we solve for that also here same thing inside the bracket we can write it simply as root 60 plus root 10 or squared then divided by here also follows on we have a minus b into bracket open bracket a plus b which is the same thing as a square minus b square that's difference of two squares and a here is root 60 b here is root 10 that is we have root 60 square minus root 10 squared then when we expand this also from when we have a plus b or square this same thing as a square plus b square plus 2 times a times b that is yeah this become root 60 square plus root 10 square plus 2 times root 60 times root 10 then all over root 60 square square cancel square root we have 60 then minus root 10 square square cancel square root that's 10 which implies also here root 60 square square cancel square root we have 60 then plus root 10 square square cancel square root that's 10 then plus here we have 2 times from where we have root a times root b we can bring this together as root a times b that's the same thing here we have root 60 times 10 here then all over 60 minus 10 that's 50 which implies yeah 60 plus 10 that's 70 then plus 2 times square root of here we can write 60 as 6 times 10 then also times 10 then over 50 here then from what we have here when we have root a times a the same thing as a and this root 10 times 10 that's 10 we can take 10 out and we are left with root 6 so we have 70 plus 2 times 10 then root 6 left then over 50 here and next step here we can factor 10 up here that is we have 10 into bracket here remains 7 then plus 2 left here and root 6 that's 2 root 6 then over 50 here that is from here also 10 goes here 1 and 10 goes here 5 and we're left with 7 plus 2 root 6 over 5 which is the same thing with what we have in the first method and thank you for watching so yeah we can conclude that the simplified form of this given problem is now 7 plus 2 root 6 over 5. And thank you for watching us here at Master Team at last. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with some and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.